Mark, a one-all draw in our final away game of the season. What's your thoughts after that? I think that's a, a really credible draw at a really tough place to come. I think, forgive me if I'm wrong, I think they've probably got the best home record in the league. Um, so we, we had to be really hard working, really diligent in our work. And I think we certainly were. You know, we've had a long travel up here today. Uh, we've missing a lot of players um, who have had a lot of minutes for us. And it just shows that, you know, how far we've come as a group, that whoever put that shirt on, picked up and ran with it. Um, I said we are the club of opportunity and uh, plenty, and people are taking those now, which is, is great to see. And I'm, I'm really proud of the boys, the way they've, you know, watching them evolve and grow and, and grow through hardships. And um, when you see them come through the other side and then they come and put performances like that out there today, it was, it was full of heart and endeavour. Um, and we had to be... You had to be really hard working today. You don't come here against Halifax, who are, who are a great side. Um, so we we, had, we we worked hard, and then we and then we opened up. You know, when the, unfortunately went one 0 behind, and then we really opened ourselves up a little bit more. You know, we really showed that attacking intent to try and get back in the game and win the game. You could see that to the to the final seconds. Uh, you know, to that final whistle, it, it become a bit like basketball. It was exciting. It was end to end, and. Uh, you know, we really took the game to them at the end and um, I think that shows a, a group which are confident, a group which is fighting for each other and, uh, and working hard for the shirt. I want to ask you about the starting lineup. Obviously, a number of academy boys given the opportunity. Ellis Watts on the bench today, You know, Ryan giving his chance in goal again. But no Sinclair Armstrong today. I just wanted to know what the latest was with him. Yeah, he's got a calf strain. So... Um, you know, it, it, we thought it was, first thought was was cramp. Um, you know, he was he was down to do 60 minutes. Uh, Made in head, he'd done 60 minutes. Felt a bit of cramp just before he came off. Um, it turns out that's probably slightly a little bit more than cramp. So yeah, real unfortunate. But yeah, one of, one of many who's uh, who's missing. We got Corey Jordan having his nose fixed. Ryan Glover's had his hernia a couple of weeks fixed. Uh, uh, Ethan resting his knee. Um, you know, we obviously lost Chambo with his ankle. Um, so, you know, that's just to name a few. There's quite a few missing. But that makes me even more proud of the way the boys have, have gone out and delivered a performance there. And like I said, full of academy graduates. So um, a real positive away performance to end on. Really cheered on by a fantastic following there. Um, and especially as the game was exciting and end-to-end -end at the end. Um, you know, it's a, a big energy sap in pitch, especially when we've travelled up on the day quite a long. I think, you know, they, the, the lads really showed... Fantastic energy levels and desire, but again, really pushed on by our fantastic away following today. Of course, we look back at the first half, it was quite an even affair, not too many clear cut chances for either side. So, to negate that against a side that you say have the best home record in the league, or supposedly, you know, it's full credit to the boys in that first half. Yeah, full credit to them. I think we, we, we opened ourselves up a little bit, got a couple of things wrong, and, and they did. I think at one point we should have scored at their, their end. I see that now we quite didn't turn the ball in there. Very unfortunate. But then we've ended up conceding four or five shots on our goal uh, in a very short space of time. And oh, I think it was four shots and a couple of corners just where we probably got a bit excited with our own at attack and we didn't quite lock out efficiently enough. And then all of a sudden Ryan Hall's facing a lot of action and he really dealt with it really well. And uh, I'm really pleased for him. I thought it was a excellent, another excellent game for him, another great experience travelling up, away, on the, on the day in a, a tough place. These are all different experiences and things that shape you as a footballer. So, um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm really pleased with all the boys. Of course, there was at one point four academy graduates on the pitch, and you know we spoke to Alfie Saunders, and they do seem to have developed both as a player and also personally as well. You know, really seem to be naturally players now. Yeah, and I think where the where the team structure's in a good place, that that helps the the younger players come in and flourish. Uh, I think you know when you got defenders marshalling them and organising them like Cody and Giles is, is great, Mo Silla and Jaden, JBA in midfield, you know, doing a lot of good work, then that helps the younger players fit in a bit easier and then we see there because they're, they're in here because they're quality players um, and experiences like these will just keep standing them in good stead uh, you know we've you know like I said we've it is the club of opportunity there's been plenty of opportunity and a lot of players getting a lot of minutes so it's exciting it's exciting times I hope for the club going forward you know we've, we're trying to create a foundation here something to build and um, yeah we, we, we look forward to our final home game hopefully the, the crowd will come out and see us and support like you said, those young graduates and uh, carry, carry on following us and, and, and supporting us and getting behind us because, uh, you know, it's no better than, than playing in front of your crowd cheered on like that. The word on Mika, of course, is sixth goal in the National League. Now, a great run of form he's in at the minute. Yeah, he's, he's hit the form just at the right time for us. Um, so, again, really pleased with him. He's a, he's a striker in, in good form at the moment and confidence. That's what strikers need. And you can see how he's transformed as a player. And again, he, he, he's come through a tough season and... Uh, 
I've said all along at the times, you know, when it was difficult standing here speaking to you after some dark times, that we'll come out of this stronger if we stick together. And we have, and you can see now um, the growth in the group and the individuals. You know, you mentioned Mika there, but everyone else as well. So um, I said it's, it's proud for me looking at that looking at that group at the moment, knowing that how, how they've come through for each other. Of course, Ellis Watts come back and given a few minutes as well, so another opportunity for him today. Yeah, no, another opportunity for him. He's been out getting, gaining loan experience and... The, Again, he's um, shown, shown his quality out there today. He's got to continue to work hard in training and, and, and grow his out-of-possession game and his fitness because he, he's, he, the lad's got quality. Just a final note, of course, final game of the season at home on Saturday, oh, Sunday rather, shot Super Sunday. We're expecting a bumper crowd. Hopefully we see as many fans there as possible next Sunday. Yeah, I can't wait. You know, the boys, the boys can't wait to get back out on that. And that shirt I said to you on, after the game on uh, Saturday at Notts County, I'm going to struggle to get the shirt off of people. You know, it's only injuries that have, have stopped people playing. Um, other than that, people are chomping at the bit because they want to be playing. We're in good form, we're confident, and we're cheered on by a great crowd. So, um, you know, you've got to enjoy these times in football. And, uh, you know, we're certainly looking forward to that game. Just a final note, of course, obviously under 300 away fans today travels through a massive journey, so full credit to them today. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like I said, they, they gave us, the, kicked, it, kicked us on to so that, that exciting finish. I hope they, they hope they enjoyed the performance and the hard work, and uh, I think they appreciated that this is a good point on the road, but also I think they appreciated the, the way that the boys ran their socks off and attacked the game till the end, and, uh, you know, like I said, re really cheered on and pushed on because it was a... Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe. Shot.